The Las Vegas Raiders have used one of their top 30 visits on tight end James Mitchell, according to a source. The Virginia Tech tight end was supposed to break out in 2021 and have a superstar season. And unfortunately for him, he had a knee injury early on, which knocked him out for the entire season. Now, what's interesting about this is the fact that the Raiders are now meeting with the third tight end. Now, this meeting is different. We'll talk about that in a little bit later on. But the Raiders have met with Cade Otten of Washington. And they also met with Coastal Carolina's Isaiah Likely. So two tight ends, the Raiders have met with two tight ends that are likely going to go anywhere from the third to fifth round. But James Mitchell's the most interesting one. See, Cade Otten, as well as Isaiah Likely, were not top 30 visits. Those guys didn't actually come to Las Vegas. Those guys, the Raiders either Zoom called with, or they likely spoke to him on the phone, or they met them at a pro day, pro day, which is different than what they're doing with James Mitchell. See, James Mitchell, they're using a top 30 visit, which means they are flying him into Las Vegas. Or I should say they flew him into Las Vegas, because according to a source, James Mitchell met with the Raiders early this morning. He was in the building talking, getting to know the Raiders staff, Josh McDaniels, apparently spoke with him, and things went well, according to this source. Now, what's most interesting is the fact that the Raiders have three tight ends on this roster already. Three tight ends, and one tight end specifically that was literally just brought in by this coaching staff. Jacob Hollister, the third tight end on the Raiders roster right now, was brought in by Josh McDaniels. So to me, Jacob Hollister is going to be on this roster come week one. But the fact that the Raiders are trying to add another tight end makes me think, what do they think about Foster Moreau, who is currently the backup tight end? Are they not sold on Foster Moreau? Because in my opinion, I love Foster Moreau, especially as a backup tight end, especially as a run blocker. He's a crushing run blocker. But what does Josh McDaniels think about Foster Moreau? Because he's now met with three tight ends and he even flew one out and used a top 30 visit on one. So what does Josh McDaniels think about Foster Moreau? Or is it Darren Waller that they're looking to replace? You know, it's a very interesting conversation. I've kind of talked about this in the past that I've heard, and this isn't confirmed or anything, but I've heard that Darren Waller does not plan to play on this current on his current contract, that he is going to ask for more money. You know, getting paid seven and a half million dollars. And at this point, any rookie tight end draft in the first round makes more money than, than Darren Waller. Does it make a lot of sense for Waller, right? As being a top three or four tight end, it only makes sense to, to get paid as a top three or four tight end, not the 15th tight end, right? Obviously, that would be uh, one thing. But the fact that the Raiders are bringing in all these tight ends, it makes you think like, obviously, we don't have a first or a second round pick. But, you know, George Kittle was, a, I believe, a second or third round pick, as was Travis Kelsey. So some of the best tight ends in the league are not first round tight ends, right? They're later round guys. Darren Waller, later round guy, right? So you look at some of these guys and it makes you think like, what are the Raiders looking to do with these tight ends? Uh, James Mitchell is a fantastic prospect. He hasn't had a ton of statistics, but you can kind of blame that on his quarterback a little bit, as well as in 2021, he was a true junior, which isn't always typical, right? Some people get redshirted. Some people are redshirt seniors coming out. That's not Mitchell. Mitchell's three years in college and he's done. Unfortunately, his third year, he did get hurt, but that was the year he was supposed to break out. Interestingly enough, when you use a top 30 visit, keep in mind, you don't have an unlimited amount of top 30 visits. You get 30 of them which means you can bring in 30 players to come visit. Now for the Raiders, you know, if you want to get a cornerback, you're going to use five or six of those top 30 visits on a cornerback. If you want a right tackle, you're going to use five or six of those on a right tackle. That's already a third of all your, your top 30 visits. But if you're using it on a tight end, it makes you think like, are the Raiders solely invested in getting a tight end? And to me, it's a very interesting conversation. At the end of the day, I don't think it's Darren Waller that they're trying to replace. But I do think Foster Moreau is a guy that could ultimately be replaced. You know, Josh McDaniels has his own system, has his own scheme, has his own fit of the type of player he wants. And Foster Moreau was handpicked by John Gruden. Foster Moreau is a John Gruden guy. Not saying that Josh McDaniels can't use him, but it's going to be interesting to see how the Raiders kind of shape out with their roster. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.